Hello. Uh, <laughs> welcome to my channel. In this video, I will cover it robots, and this is going to be related. This is going to relate to symbol dot iterator the method. Let's take a look at first what is iterable. If we have an object and we can use for of to loop it, then we can call that the object is an iterable. Uh, is iterable okay and there are some built-in iterables which are strings and arrays when we talk about a string and when we talk about arrays we can all use the for of to loop them because those classes or those construct functions they all implement the symbol that are iterator and what is uh, and for uh, if you want your object to be iterable, then you must implement a method called a symbol or the iterator. That's a method name. You must implement a method. The name is called a symbol or the iterator. This is the entire a method name. Okay. So first, the return the value of a symbol or the iterator, which is when we call object and we call this method, we call it okay. The result is gonna become it's called the iterator. The result of this one, and in the iterator, it's gonna handle the iteration process. So, what's the return value of this uh, uh, method, and what is the uh, iterator have? Okay, the iterator must have a method called the next, and in the next, you have to have uh, you have to return an object which has uh, two properties. First one is a down, and the second one is the value. And the down will indicate the end of the iteration process, which means it's finished, okay, or oh, it's not finished. If it's done, it's true, it means it's the end. And the value is a one. When we have a four, I use this one, okay. When we have a four, and the let item of, like an object, okay. Uh, this item gonna be the value here this value here okay the value can be anything okay so now let me give you one example of uh, uh, the iter iterable we can build by ourselves okay so here uh, first uh, let me show you the built-in one suppose we do a string okay like a string uh, str equals uh, miss x and g then you can use for of uh, let s of str and here we can see what it, it will give you it, it will give us uh, each of the character inside a string now on inspect console you are getting each of the character okay and uh, the reason we can use a uh, uh, for of is uh, inside this string, it actually has what? It actually has a uh, iterator symbol, symbol that I iterator being uh, created. And uh, a string is a primitive. And uh, there's one slide that talk about primitives as objects. Okay, you can take a look at it later uh, by yourself. Uh, you can find it in the playlist. It, it will do a wrapper on the way and then destroy the wrappers okay anyway so this is the first one second one is let me create another object and here we will have this one and now if i use let item uh, 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 value of uh, obj okay. and uh, we know this object is an empty object, and this object doesn't have the symbol of the iterator method being uh, implemented. And you cannot, because object current or OBJ here now is not an iterable. Okay, we can uh, open this one. Uh, let me do this one. I learned this one. Uh, left of the screen, then I can use this one as right. Okay. So I can do like this way. So we can see the consoles. Okay, now let me refresh. You will see object 
is not iterable because only iterables you can use the for of to loop it. So now how how can we make it to be iterable? What you can do is we have to add the method obj and the method name is called a symbol dot iterator. Okay, and it's a method. So we have to give a function here. And in the function, you must have a method. Uh, you must return an object. Here I said, okay. See, I was, you must return an object. And this object, we need to have a next method. And in the next, we will do what? In the next, you have to return an object, which has two properties. Suppose we give down true and value. Um, value is uh, what thing well value is uh, uh, high okay like this okay you must return and if you do like this way then it means uh, the down means end of process first I want to show you in a function it's going to be called once okay inside symbol dot iterator method okay and uh, the this method, which is the function here, will be called only once when we have the for of loop. For of loop, it will call the symbol iterator. And after we get the result, which will return the value from this function, and the, the this part gonna be, then the next gonna be called every time to do the looping okay and based on if a down is false they're gonna continue if a down is true it means the end of the uh, loop let me first show you here see here you will see inside the iteration method which this one is being called but when it called next i immediately return down that's why you didn't see anything okay because you have to return false and have something so now i will do here uh, because uh, this one is an object what it, uh, i can do like this way inside and I will do this one first okay inside next method to see see here you will have inside next because I I immediately gave true okay so it only called once inside next because it done it done means not done means uh, finished and so you don't have the value is not being kept if it only will give you a done is not is a false okay so what I'm going to do is like this way, okay? So here, let me add some two free, two properties here from a start. Oh, from, okay, from uh, one, uh, two, ten. Okay, I'll do like this. Here in this object, I have from property and two property. What I'm, I'm going to do is I'm, when I use a four of this uh, loop you will print one two three four uh, five six seven eight nine times which is from one to ten gonna be printed here okay how to do it here we have to implement logic in our symbol of the iterator so here we have to get these two values right from and uh, to so here what I'm gonna do is I will have a current they start from okay and I'll have end they start to okay I have I have two properties here so inside here I can do a condition check if they start current yes less equal to they start end okay which is then our return down is a force and value yes they start current and uh, every time I have to increase, so I directly increase here. Okay, this one means the value gonna be uh, it's not a current, and after the value is being printed, then I will increase the current. So I can see the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Else, I just return down. Okay. And here, when it's done, you don't need to give the value because the value is not being taken, right? Uh, well, let me format this one now let's take a look at it okay here I didn't do any I didn't have any I only have a console log here and console log here and for the one two three four five excuse me sorry hey you can have see here 
uh, let me comment, uh, let me show you. First, this inside simple iteration method, uh, simple iterator, don't know iteration method, or iterator method is being called only once, right? And after the first time being called, it will always deal with this object. Okay, it will deal with this with this object. And here we have inside next. Inside next is gonna be called multiple times. Okay, so here we we actually call it eleven times because the last one they're gonna go to a down. Okay, and if it's always a force, it's gonna be infinite loop. And here you will see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and time being printed. The reason is when it go to the next, it will check this current equal, uh, is less than the end. The current at the beginning is a zero, uh, is one, one, and the, the end is a ten. So one is less than ten. Okay, then you gonna go to do this one. The, this one it will be down force, which means it's not at the end of uh, iteration. Okay, then I will have value. Value is this dot current. And it's gonna be v the value for the v, so it's gonna be one. And after we do one, we will increase the current. So this current here will hold uh, two now. And you are going inside to do the next because the down is a force, okay, like this way. And then this uh, current two is less than, it will continue, continue until this uh, current is 11. When it's 11, we will go to this uh, uh, condition, then down is true, and that's the end of the iteration process, okay? So that is uh, the part here. Uh, you probably will be confused of these two properties. I will explain a little bit here, because that's related to this keyword. Uh, this one, because you cannot, in, you, we cannot use this dot uh, from and to here. We cannot use this other from and this other to and this other from here. You cannot. The reason is because this function, this function will return this object. Okay, this is this object. And the inside this object, if I don't have this two, okay. Inside this object, then we call next, right? Which means this next method is called based on this object. And now in this object, do I have a property from? Do I have property to? I don't have. That's why if I use this data from, this are two here, you're gonna have errors. You cannot get anything because it's always, it's not the same. So it's why uh, you immediately go to the force. This one gonna be undefined and this one is gonna be undefined, okay? And uh, it will go, go through here, okay? And the uh, that's why here I had two properties here. One is current and one is end because when I call next, next is called based on this object. Okay, uh, based on this object here, the return of this object, and this object has a current and end. Okay, that's why here I have these two properties. Okay, anyway, uh, uh, in the future I will talk about this keyword more. Okay. Uh, uh, I mentioned the one about this keyword uh, in previous video when we talk about when I talk about object and this is that a case which is object this keyword used used inside the object okay uh, that is uh, this slide talking about uh, about symbol the iterator how to make it to be iterable there is one thing I want to another thing I want to cover here is uh, what's the difference between it Excuse me, it's late. Uh, the difference between you you may heard a term about iterable and uh, array like objects, and we just mentioned about iterables. So iterables are the objects which um, can use uh, for of to loop, and in order for to for of loop uh, loop works, you have to implement a method called the symbol iterator. We just mentioned right. And for array like objects, when we talk, when I talk about the uh, the uh, the V8 implemented JavaScript uh, array, I mentioned about it, which is a function has arguments, right? It's array like array like are objects that have indexes and lengths. They looks like array, but they are not like array. Let me give you one example here. So here I will create another object, which is called let array like object okay 
they are different. They say first is an object, and this object has indexes. So the property is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. <coughs> like a uh, miss and 1, x and g, 2, hi, 3. Uh, uh, okay, and it will need to have a length property. Length property is uh, four. Here we have a zero, one, two, three, four. And uh, array like object is an object which has indexes and the length. But in JavaScript, in JavaScript for the object, the property name cannot be numbers. Okay, I will mention in next video. Because the properties here, when you see it's a number, it will convert in uh, JavaScript, it will automatically convert them into a string. Now, for this object, we can do a loop like this way let e uh, i equals zero, i less than array dot length and i plus plus. And then we can do like this way array like object. Now let me print. Uh, I will comment this one, okay? I will comment this one for now. And I loop it. You will see Miss X and G, Hi and Huayin. So now, when I use this syntax, okay, to access each of the value inside uh, the array, this object, it looks like it's an array because when we write array, array, when we have a real array, we can also use this kind of loop to get each of the elements in the array, right? And now this example showing here is what? I use a similar syntax like an array, but here is an object. The reason we can do like this way is because the properties are indexes kind of like with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And you also need to have length properties to be used here. So array like object is an object which has indexes and the length property, okay? But they are not array. Why is they are not array? Because when we have a real array, array can do what? It can have a push method, right? Can push, can shift, can add, uh, not can add, can unshift, can pop, can filter map reduce. But for this object, you cannot see here. Array of like object push is not a function because this is an object, it's not an array. So it doesn't have these methods but they can loop using kind of like an array syntax. So we call it array-like object. And that's the difference between them, okay? Iterable and array-like objects. Um, I'm done, okay? So thank you for watching my videos and see you next time. Bye-bye.